welcome back to another Fishing with Norm episode. Today we are buying every mystery box and seeing what's inside so you guys don't have to buy them. Stay tuned. Hey yo folks, what's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing with Norm YouTube channel. Comment these popping up down below. So guys, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, leave a comment on this video for your chance to be next to us. Comment of the day. Guys, if you are not subscribed, I'm gonna make a little deal with you guys. If we hit 250,000 subscribers by the last day in February, I will buy a bass boat for us to go film videos on. I know it's a huge goal and like buying a bass boat is a big deal, but I've kind of like come to terms with it. If you guys hit 250,000 subs, I'll buy a bass boat and go explore all this year on the bass boat. But uh, today we have Fishing with Yak Pack. Woo! Hey, listen, 500,000 subscribers by the end of the year here on Fishing with Norm. 250,000 by the end of the month if you guys wanna see me buy a bass boat. 250,000 today, today! <laughs> you can nah. do it, the Norm is strong, the Norm is strong. Like hey, that's 20,000, you guys got a lot of subscribes to do. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I want a bass boat, so go ahead and subscribe. Today, Yak Pack and I are going inside of Academy, and you guys know like there's mystery boxes, and for those of you guys who don't know what a mystery box is, basically, it's like Dollar Shave Club, things that come to your house every single month, basically, and it's a box full of mystery stuff. So today, we are going over the mystery fishing kits, which I'm really excited to do because I haven't had a mystery fishing kit come to my house in a very long time. Yeah. So I don't know what's in them. I used to order them all the time before I started YouTube. It's a really good way to get a ton of baits and try a ton of new things, especially if you're uh, newer at fishing or if you're experienced at fishing, you get really good deals because they throw a ton of stuff in a box. You don't know what you're getting, but you get good deals on everything. So it's like 20 bucks from you get like what, a $35 value? Yeah, 30, something some, like some, that. Sometimes up like 60 yeah. bucks. But what we don't know about the mystery boxes is what's inside. So that's the goal today for if you guys are gonna buy any mystery boxes, we kind of wanted to showcase every mystery box that we can buy inside the store and let you guys decide what's best. Obviously, me and Yak Pack will have our own opinions, yeah. which we'll probably you know open it up and see what we think is best. Maybe even catch some fish on some of the stuff. Yeah, I think we just gotta go inside. Yeah. Buy the mystery boxes. Well, and how many are we buying? Are we are all of them? Every every one that they have. Every, whatever they have, that's we're cool. buying it. Okay, yeah, so, that's dope. Go inside, guys. Five hundred thousand subscribers. <laughs> Y'all better get it to five hundred k. I'm telling you. Yak Pack and I have just walked into the academy. This academy is crazy big compared to yeah. at least my academy. No, you yeah, don't even have an academy. No, I don't have a hundred miles away is the closest one to me. So. Heck yeah. We were just walking to where we think the fishing kit should be at, like around the tackle boxes and lures and stuff. Yeah. Boom. Right off the rip, we have the uh, the bass fishing kit with the mystery tackle box. Wait so, a minute. Box 13, box 12, box 62. There's how many boxes 61. are there? Oh, this is gonna get confusing. Very interesting. I wonder if that, does that mean they're different? So five to six baits, $25 value. Yeah, so the tough thing about these boxes is you don't know what comes inside. Like there's not like a list saying what is in there. And as Yak Pack pointed out, this is box number 62. And this is box 13. How many boxes are there? For the mystery tackle box bass fishing kit. And we're sticking with like primarily like bass fishing kits for yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. We're gonna go with box number 62. Oh, and it says right here, in this box you get five to six oh, yeah. baits around a $25 value. And I don't know how much this box is, there's no price tag here. Guys, also in this video we're gonna be comparing prices. So I'm sure a ton of different boxes are different. Prices come with more lures, less lures, depending on the price. We're gonna see like what the best value we think is if you could only get like one box, which one it would be. Look at this, he's about yeah, to hook dude, his daughter in the savage, face. Man. That was in right the face, bro. Situational awareness. About to get a hook in the neck. What's going on? Well, there they are. So, guys, here is like a ton of the mystery boxes. So this is like the one that just catches my eye out of the whole thing. It's just massive and green. I love yeah. big boxes with lures inside. This is the uh, the Guggen Squad Mondo Kit. Biggins, Biggins XL. XL. I like Biggins and I like them extra large. I like Mondos that are big with XL or big Mondo XLs. Like XL spreadsheet, but not the spreadsheet just hey, for fish. By the way, guys. Anything Guggen Squad, you guys can save 10% if you use the link down below in my description or tell them what code. Yeah, you can I. use code NORM at checkout on GuggenSquad.com and that'll save you 10%. So there's a ton of pictures on the front. I'm expecting this box is $40, so I'm hoping that there's a lot of lures in this compared to the other boxes. Next up, I have not seen this box, the Hack Attack Bass Fishing Kit by striking. This one's 30 bucks, so $10 cheaper, but half the size. So it's really just like what's in, on the inside of the box that matters, so. I got a round head. Yeah, you do have the roundest head of all the boys. Yeah. Can we not, what are we doing on my head right now? I, I don't <laughs> what's know. What's going on here? I, okay, so Academy also makes a mystery box. This one's 25 bucks, and on the top it says $40 value. You oh, can... it tells you exactly what comes okay. inside. Okay. So it's all it is is just shrimp, jig heads, and glasses. 
So mm. now that we know what's inside, I don't think I'm gonna get this one. No just because we already yeah. know exactly what's There's in like it. No reason. In assault, it's salt water fishing. We're trying to do like mainly yeah. lake stuff. So I don't know about this box. Not to throw shade at any companies. I've heard this is a scam by so many people. Have you heard that? Is this a company before I'm like wrong? No, that's them. So guys, I would not recommend ordering this company online maybe they fixed their stuff up yeah maybe but back yeah. in the day there were so many comments on their instagrams and stuff saying i never got my box yeah and i ordered it a, a year yeah. ago it's like, an instagram picture or whatever it was and that was hundreds of comments people were making youtube videos on it. you can probably find a youtube yeah, video yeah, yeah, so yeah, um yeah. but it's actually weird to see one of these in a store because I, I thought they, they heavy just, it is kind of got some weight to it have you yeah. ever opened one of these before never seen never even i mean buy it maybe in a store if it's cool yeah but sure don't do it online because you may never get your box <laughs> what could potentially be 500,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I'm gonna keep Don't do it. Don't do it to him. Don't do it to him. <laughs> you guys, we're buying all of these boxes, including this one. So, um, so you guys don't have to buy them. Or, so maybe you'll see what's inside and you'll want to buy them. Well, either or. Do we have that one? No, we don't. No, we, we don't. don't. Largemouth Bass Mystery Box. Here, I'm like, That's I might as well help true. subscribe, man. That's it. Know. Yeah, this is for support your content creators. That's it. On the road to 500K. And apparently she was saying, this one, boof. And if you guys don't know what boof means, because I didn't until I met Yak Pack, and we oh, just yeah. kind of made up a word, boof. it means bad. But we're still gonna buy it. It's limited edition, we have to, like. It's not a joke either, like it's 100% what yeah, happened no, it's, for the last thousand. You're about to run into a stand. Oh. Oh. Into. I saw it happening and I was like, Zade's gonna stop. He saw it. Nope. Welcome back to another Fishing with Norm episode. We have now <laughs> switched it up because Zade is no longer allowed to walk backwards. We have all the boxes. We're about to check them out. I even forgot what we were saying. Zade nailed the whole stand and went that everywhere. That was hilarious. Dude, that was the definition of whoa! Yeah, bro, this man <laughs> knocked over a whole battery stand, not just one piece, not one part, not one pack, the whole stand. It was taller than me. And he tackled that thing like Troy Palomalu tackled Pat McAfee in the Super Bowl. Yeah, we're, we're never coming back to this academy ever again. I don't yeah, want to yeah, show my face anymore. Out, After I picked them batteries up, you know, I worked up a sweat. I'm ready to open some boxes. We have over $100 in mystery boxes here, actually at our hotel pond that Yak Pack and I got. It is actually where one rod, like, what was that, four years ago? 2016, yeah. 2016 missed the 10 pounder in here. I mean, just a legendary video. What we're gonna do, we're gonna unbox these, and then we're gonna go fishing for a little bit too before the sun goes down. Yeah. Uh, this is mainly, a, you know, we're trying to see what's in the boxes, but we're gonna do a little bit of fun fishing at the end. So, starting with mystery box number one, we'll even make it a mystery, I'll just grab it from down here. Oh yeah. What? <laughs> All right, guys, we're starting out with the uh, the Hack Attack Bass Fishing Kit. I have no clue what's in here. Actually, it's like literally my third time ever seeing this. I would walk into stores and I'd be like, okay, that's new. I've actually opened that box before and uh, you're in for uh, quite the treat. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all you're gonna say? That's all I'm gonna say. All right, we spent a good amount of money on this. What was this one, 30 bucks? 30 bucks, yeah. Ma, ma, ma. money shot. Oh, there's a hat. Heck yeah. <laughs> Dang, <on>. dude, what? <laughs> I'm just, to me, unless you want a hat in your box, that's disappointing, bro. I don't, I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna be no filter with you guys. No bias. Okay guys, so in this box in total, we have a buzz bait, worms, flukes, and a, uh, a bitsy bug. All of which, I mean, every single one of these lures will catch fish, but I feel like if you just went and picked them off the shelves, you would spend half the money that you did in this. Like, are, are these not like $3 or five, six bucks yeah, you're, at yeah, the yeah. max? Yeah, that they are quite uh, quite that, that was a bummer of a box. I thought the same thing. Yeah, I already opened this on his YouTube channel. I had no clue what was inside. There were, there were some, there was some smoke thrown. There was some shade yeah. and some, there was, people were upset. People yeah. were upset that I compared this to the, uh, to the Guggen box. So I know, I know what comes in both of those. Kind yeah. of just letting, leaving it for a surprise for Norm. And you guys who haven't seen that video of yeah. mine. So when I opened that, I mean, I was disappointed. The whole reason I like mystery boxes is because you can get more value inside. Yeah, 100%. And I don't know if this was worth $30 at all. But at least if it's worth $30 to you guys, now you know yeah. what's inside the box. Yeah. And you can go buy it if you want to. Yeah, we're if definitely was, not um, saying that. We're definitely yeah. not saying, like, don't go buy it. Like, if you, by all means, go do so. But yeah. I, I just, I it was upsetting to me. Let's go to the next one. Right, guys, obviously, I'm working with Guga now. So obviously, it's going to be biased, but I'm really being as unbiased as possible because if every box is bad, I'm going to tell you every box is bad because I, I'm by no means, Yak Pack nor I, obligated to say this is good or this is bad yeah, at all that's no, no i'm excited to see what's in this box have you opened this one never, before never no opened. oh so what was that one that surprise. one was this is the fishing 
mystery box, the fishing care package. Let's see. That's I don't know. Sharp knife. I never thought I would open one of these in my whole entire life because I remember seeing these online and there's so much yeah. like on the advertising they did. Yeah. I was like, I want one of those so bad. The box looks cool. I mean, yeah, but everybody didn't get theirs. But now we we have our hands on. I have. I feel like I have my hands on like a rare box right yeah. here because nobody ever got theirs. All right, ma ma ma, money shot. Okay. What's that? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's oh, Velcro. Oh, it's for like crankbaits and stuff, I guess. Oh, this is for, oh, I know exactly what this is. You put it around your rod if you have anything with treble hooks on it. Yeah, that's and right. And it, yeah. it makes it where it doesn't snag. This is actually dope because yeah, I don't have that, one of these. Yeah, that's sick. That yeah. is actually, that. that's cool. I've, I've always seen those. It makes it so where if you have a ton of rods and reels, they don't tangle yep. up with yep. all your hooks. That's actually like, that's usable. Next, massive jig heads. A little too, uh... Way too big, not just a little bit. What's the weight on those? It's a one ounce swim bait heads. Oh. Yes, we have Braden here too. This is H2O Express, this is Academy brand. I like Sweet. It. I like it. Yeah. 20 pound. Oh, this is good. No, there's like actually some good... What the heck is this? Guys, check this out. Mega lizards, or like brush hogs almost. We're gonna open these bad boys up. This is why you get a mystery box. Fuss Ladies in the store would never buy them. Oh my god. That is the biggest like trench hog, brush hog, whatever you want to call it, style of bait I have ever seen. That is crazy. I didn't even know they made these. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, it's a, oh hat. It's, a, it's a hat hook. Hat hook. Live action, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Comes with snippers. Oh, zip, and they're uh, split ring pliers. Split ring thing. pliers, and this is where you cut your line, too. You got rubber bands, the more heavy 3 8 ounce jig heads, the and then we got bobbers, and we got some flukes. Yeah, this is kind of nasty. That almost looks like saltwater yep. flukes. All right, so that's box number two. Not uh, bad. Honestly, better than I thought it was going to be. There wasn't a ton of lures in it, but there's a ton of like useful tools that you need for fishing, I would say, in that box. I like that. That was a good box. Yep. Heck yeah. Mystery tackle box. I have opened my fair share of mystery tackle yep. boxes in the day. I used to be a customer, now sponsored. Still, I mean, love myself a good mystery tackle box. But every box is different. This is box 62. This is actually the mystery tackle box. They're packaged oh, wow. differently. So this one on the box is $25 value, but you pay 20 bucks for it. So yeah. You're getting $5 of free lures, basically. Yeah. And this one for when you guys go buy it, I don't know about the other ones, these can all be different. Every single month, it's different lures. Yeah. So if you buy this in spring, it should have spring fishing lures, summer, summer fishing lures, etc. So what I open in this box might not be what you guys get, unless you find box 62. Oh, so, dude, this one is definitely more lures. First off, you get a, uh, a cool sticker. Here, Yak Pack. Right next to the uh, the code norm it saves 10% on googlesquad.com. Oh, perfect. Four out hooks. We were all out of hooks. That is epic. Lumberjack flipping jig. Actually, the first ever jig fish that I caught was on this exact jig. And I think it's actually peanut butter and jelly. Look at me, bro. PB and J. PB and J, dude. I Look know at my colors, dude. Match up like a little speed crawl, like a really small, like two, three inch craw of any kind. Beautiful jig, especially winter time. Boom, popper. You guys know I love poppers. The Guggen Squad popper. Perfect time to plug my code. Fishing with Norm, 10% off. Link hey, yeah. in bio. You already, know. you already know the deal. This right here actually tells you all about how to fish the lures you got. So a little book to help you out. Bio cross. These yeah. things, bed fishing, yeah. trailers on anything, oh, money nice. bait. And gotta catch them all. Oh, it's catch them all fishing. Boy. Hey. Catch them all fishing's lures. Fast Dynasty, these are epic for like wacky rigs. It's basically like a speed worm yeah. and two. And you wacky rig them, just like two speed worm tails. Epic that's, box, yeah, dude. I've actually never fished those. Every single thing in this box, I would use. Even though I haven't used them a lot, Yeah. definitely all good lures. Is there anything in there you thought was bad? Well, not, not bad by any means. I just don't use jigs that much. Yeah. So, but ne definitely not a bad jig. So far, fair analysis, I would say this one, I mean, obviously has had the most fishing lures in it and was also the cheapest one out of all three of the boxes we've opened so far. Yeah. And I liked all the lures inside too. So, so far, this would be my favorite box. Set it to the side right there. Cause I feel yep. like that's, 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 that's the, the number pile. one right now for sure. Yep. I'm saving the big Guggen Skull one for last guys. Yeah. This is the limited edition. This one I'm excited 40 for. plus dollar value. And I don't know how much this one was cause it didn't have a price tag on it. Oh, 14 bucks. So $14.96, $15, 16 with tax. You ready for this? 40 bucks for, if it actually has $40 worth of stuff in here. It's called Bubba Mock, because that, that one was. Yeah, it's small too, it's super yeah. light. You ready? $40 Bro. value? No. It says it on there. <laughs> that is su that's such a bummer, guys. That popper looks insane. That is a really cool looking popper. Yeah, Dude, it's red eye. There's no way they sell this. What is that? A sample pack. In-house lures, yeah. I don't know. I feel so weird on my YouTube channel. Like, I, I'm not trying to, like, brand stomp anybody. I am not even capping. They probably make these for five cents. This whole entire thing right here probably costs five cents. Guys, like, obviously buying these for a YouTube video. So, I'm glad to buy all of these. If I would have bought 
this, expecting a $40 value inside. Hey God, this, I'll be super disappointed as a customer. What are we throwing these these uh, bobbleheads on? That's for them deep you're fish. Not, you're not throwing, well not for with what, what lures? Oh, nothing though. matches up no. in the uh, these are in the box. Yeah. What I like about like a mystery box too, and I even remember talking with Flair about this back in the day. He was like, in my mystery boxes, I want the hooks to match the lures I'm using. I don't want six random things that you can't throw together where you get your mystery box and you have Cinco's, but you don't have hooks to throw with them. Yeah. Or you have hooks, but you don't have a worm to throw on the hooks. Yeah. This uh, none of this stuff matches up with each other, which is uh, oh. which is a bummer. So for fifteen dollars, not too bad, but also when it, like forty dollar value on the box is really what's got me. Like I think this was the worst box. Yeah, I think that one's the worst one so far. I'd have to agree. It does have tungsten weight, so but like that's just something that you don't really ever use unless you're fishing lakes. These same chunks here. And then you have smaller ones in a smaller package. Guys, we want to bring you our honest opinions. And obviously, you see what's inside. If that's epic for bro, 15 bucks for you guys, buy this is it. What, but, this um, is what, look how they tricked us, bro. They're, they're, let me start on this side. So you got a hook, a ribbon tail worm, what looks to be a spinner bait, a swim bait. They advertised a the swim bait. bait was on there. Come on now. Come on now. It was 14 bucks. That one's the worst. Worst. All right. And now we got what I've been waiting to see. You've already opened I've this opened before one, yeah. on I'm your not, channel. I'm not saying nothing. I've opened one. I have never seen this before. The Gugun Squad's Biggin XL box. I'm pumped to see what's inside. This one was $40. I think one of the other ones here was 40 bucks, maybe. This is the most expensive. Most expensive box. So I have high expectations for what's inside of here. I want to see the most lures out of all these other boxes in, uh, in this one to make it worth it. Because so far, besides the mystery tackle box, I was like, I was pumped about yeah. Like if I got that, I'd be like, heck yeah. All the other ones, eh. That's yeah. just me though. If you guys see these boxes and there's something cool inside, scoop them, but do you think? Time for the uh, for the old big reveal. Oh, 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 it's a box. Intact, there we go. Boom. Now we have another box. After everything I've seen so far, in, in my opinion, it is the best box. It comes with the most stuff and the best stuff and I just, We'll see. Yeah. And we'll let you guys actually be the judge. Comment down yeah. below which one's your favorite box. That's what I was explaining um, in my video. It's like, let you, you guys be the judge. We just spent our money so you didn't have to. Or like he said, yeah. if you did like what you see in that box or this box or this box, then you've got an educated yep. decision. You can make your own. Boom. <laughs> That is by far the most stuff in a box yet, which is what I was hoping for because one, it was big, and two, it was the most expensive box. So right off the rip, this is what I think it is. It's a fanny pack. Boom, first off, we got a fanny pack, which is clutch. You keep your pliers in there, you keep yeah. your scale, which I probably should do, and a couple lures hooks, you're golden. So let's get into the lures, which is like the exciting part. Also, we, uh, we have another Dugan Squad sticker right here. All right, guys, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven baits at 40 bucks, which Quick maths would be right around $4.50 per lure in this box, which yep. is a good deal because normally I think they're $5.99. But boom, right off the rip, mini clutch. Guys, I'm telling you right now, you guys know, I love rattle traps, lipless cranks, clutches, whatever you want to call them. Those things will catch crappie, bluegill, bass, pretty much everything. My favorite lure of all time. And the mini version is even better at catching like multi species, which is just so much fun. Actually, that nine and a half pounder I caught was on a mini trap. So, big bass will eat these things. I'm pumped about that. No freaking way, bro. Crankbait, shag color, beautiful color. That is eight to 12 foot diver. So for those of you guys who got deeper ponds, I know here in Florida, we really don't, yeah. not too much, but this would be epic for uh, those of you guys who are up north. Crankbaits tend to be really expensive lures too, in general. Also, speaking of expensive lures, a jerk bait. We got a junior scout, which is actually epic for this time of year. Yeah. We got this pre-spawn yeah. going on. A little bit of cold weather, like really early spring. Jerk bait is the move. I am pumped about that as well. Poppin' Filthy Frog, another, I mean, frogs, depending on companies, frog six is, to 12 bucks, six yeah. to $13. You got a Bass Pro, you're paying no less than $10 for a frog. Yep. Thick flipping jig. That's what they used to call me in high school. <laughs> oh yeah. Next up, we got a uh, a big square bill. This is the uh, the Grande Banger right here. Chartreuse color, which is also amazing color for square bills. I like throwing a uh, red in springtime and chartreuse in like fall. It's like just kind of what I do, but obviously do what you will. And then we got the uh, the classic Bandito Bugs, black and blue. I loved all the colors in this box. Um, I don't think anything's like super weird. No. Not all looks perfect, like sad imitations. And we got the most lures in this box, also it being the most expensive. We got a lot of value out of this box. Yeah. I loved this box and the mystery tackle box. And that's that's my opinion. You have anything to add, Yakback? I would say one through five. I would probably go Guggen, Mystery, this the big fishing the big mystery fishing box. Kit yeah, I like one. that one too. The that 
black the uh, hack box and then that one's the one last yeah that one was the worst but yeah let us know what you guys think down below um obviously we're doing this just to show you guys i feel like i have to keep on saying this it's not to uh say which box is better like in my opinion you guys could be completely opposite on what you think was the best and yeah. the worst that's just our opinion and i feel like especially in the mystery and the google squad box we got the most tackle that we'll actually use out on the water actually I, I don't even feel like that i feel like everybody feels like that because there was literally one lure in like two of the boxes yeah. so yeah but now yak fact you ready we Let's could use anything something. out of any of these boxes I try to go want, catch a fish or two i kind of want to use that form. one ounce swim bait hit <laughs> <laughs> all right yak fact five seconds grab the lure you want Dang it, man. Why did you have to, why you have to do me like that? All right, uh, 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 uh. Guys, going with the old junior scout right here. I mean, I just saw this thing. I just had to, I just had to try it. And uh, I don't want this to seem sales pitchy at all because it kind of sounds like it. Like, obviously, we're, we're saying the Guggen Squad, one of the Mystery Tackle Box ones are the best, and we work with them. But that's why we work with them is because we think they're the best. So, I mean, obviously. Not only that, like, the proof is yeah. in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding. You, if you if you have a different opinion, obviously I'll respect it because I respect yep. everybody. You know, everybody can have a different opinion. That's not a big deal. Yeah. But you also couldn't tell me that this fish and care package was better than the Googling box. Like you couldn't because it what? They just, just go back there. and watch yep. and like look what came in these boxes. Like, facts, yep. no printer. Felt like I had to clarify. I'm pumped to try this junior scout out. Yak, you got the clutch going on. Also, a uh, huge shout out to my boy Zuggy, up and coming YouTuber. Yeah. He sent us pictures out here too of him like five years ago too catching tanks. So you never know, but we're gonna try. See you guys on the water. So we're out here at the uh, the old hotel pond right now where one rod like four years ago, like just, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the video of him losing a 10 pounder and running in the water after it. That's here. That was right there on that bank. Hopefully there's still big fish in here. I'm pumped. This, uh, this jerk bait right now is looking crazy through the water. There's a ton of grass in here. We're in central Florida and it's going just the right depth right over that grass. Looks like a dying bait fish. I mean, muy bueno. And Yakapak's got that mini clutch, my favorite bait. So I had to go for, you know, my second favorite pick, which is a jerk bait. Oh no, we got a little bit of time before the sun goes down. Oh, you see that wake? Oh, that's him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's a nice one. Holy cow. Stay on, please. Stay on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Getting it done. That is a big bass. Thank goodness it came back for it. I'm telling you guys, I saw that swirl. I was like, dang, that was a good one. I can't believe I didn't catch him. Woo! Junior Scout. It's a Mondo bass right there, baby. We're not guessing weights anymore without the scale, guys. I, I really need to get one. I would guess three and a half. Craziness. <laughs> Never fished here before. Cranked one, shallow water. Watch him come up, wake up on it, eat that Junior Scout. Bam, let's get her back. Jeez, that is actually a big fish, dude. Just looking at her in the water. Go, go, go. Oh, go, you got it. I see another wake right here. We're getting back in there. Junior Scout, getting it done. Oh my gosh, nice one at the bank. Jeez, man, these fish are so aggressive. Look at how dark that fish is too. That tells you how much grass is in here. We're walking back and I, I just, I can't stop fishing. <laughs> we should have stopped fishing five fish ago. I'm just having too much fun. Boom, look at that. Thick, healthy Florida bass right there. Green. He's actually, uh, he's blind in this eye, kind of. That is crazy. Big and guys, we're gonna end the video out here. I'm gonna let this guy go real quick. He ate it right at the edge. Thank you guys so much for watching. Guys, whatever mystery box you guys want to get, I just wanted to unbox them all for you guys so you could see uh, which ones you guys wanted. I think my favorites were like the Guggen Squad and the mystery box, but you guys, like, you saw what was inside, so buy whatever you guys think is best. Subscribe, share, everything to make this video do better. Share it with your friends, comment. That's all I got to say. Follow me on Instagram, Fishing with Norm. Subscribe, again. <laughs> see you guys. Fish Pump, I'm out of here.